Hey everybody, Will here. Give you an update on my uh, electrolysis tank. Uh, hooked this up, I don't know, what has it been, a week or two ago. And I've uh, been using it to clean some cast iron I've had around. Um, you can check out my uh, other video on how I set it up. Uh, the most important thing is to have a manual operation battery charger. So, uh, lessons learned. Um, when I first started out, I was only doing uh, one pan at a time in here, but uh, I made the tank big enough. I started doing two, two at a time, and uh, it's working well. I just... Uh, Add another uh, stick with a uh, jumper wire uh, over to it. And I could probably add a third in here or maybe even a fourth. Uh, one thing I want to change, uh, the uh, anodes, the piece of rebar in the corner, they get really cruddy really fast. Um, what I'd like to do is add maybe a couple on each side, maybe one one here, one there, two there, two there. Um, so that'll give me ten pieces all together. Uh, maybe they won't wear out as much. Um, but uh, they're getting to the point. I'll probably I've already taken them out once and. Uh, uh, hit them with a wire wheel uh, it's getting to that point uh, again probably but uh, you can see you can I don't know if you can see the bubbles coming up but I uh, got a couple pans in there I've already cleaned them uh, had them in there for a while took them out cleaned them and uh, just a little bit more left on there there's uh, you can really see the currents in there uh, the grease and the grime comes off really good. Uh, it's the like burnt on stuff that that's really uh, tough to get off. Here's a couple pans that I just took out and uh, just really uh, clean them up and uh, wipe them down with a little bit of vegetable oil and. Uh, it really makes them look good. Uh, they're much easier to sell uh, than uh, a pan that's totally uh, crusty and dirty. But uh, there we go. Uh, I'll uh, do a few upgrades and then uh, give you another uh, update video. But uh, electrolysis is definitely the way to go no matter what you're cleaning uh, guys clean everything with electrolysis everything from coins to uh, old tractor parts uh, you name it if it's metal and dirty uh, you, you can clean it with uh, electrolysis uh, it's the way to go um, one thing to make sure when you put your uh, uh, arm and hammer uh, super washing soda in uh, what I've been doing is just uh, add a little bit to it and then watch the meter on um, so fill it up with water start adding a little bit stirring it in and watch your meter and it takes a little bit of time it's a little bit of a delay before you see it starting to move but uh, basically just add in enough uh, washing soda until you see that move up a little bit I have it on the uh, uh, 2 amp rate so it's a little bit below 2 but uh, that's all you need to uh, get this stuff clean um, but uh, it's doing well see things uh, it starts getting like little currents in there and uh, um, I've had luck, I pretty much just let stuff sit in there for about uh, 
10 hours or so and I'll pull it out, clean it off and uh, see if it needs to uh, go back in there again. But it uh, works great. Uh, give it a try. So until next time, Will Yard Sales 5 list. We'll talk again soon.